Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel Game Factor Tutorials. This is the second English tutorial. And in this tutorial we want to make a GUI element with Playmaker in Unity. And this is very simple and easy. This tutorial is also very simple. We create only one button and a new scene that you can load if you click the button. So the first thing we need uh, some actions for is to create a new project. We doesn't import anything, we left it blank. So uh, we can concentrate us of Playmaker and has have nothing else in the project. But you need Playmaker because we make a tutorial about Playmaker. No? Very simple. So, go to Windows Asset Store and import Playmaker. Yo, yes, now we wait. Connecting to Asset Store. White. A white window, yeah. That's cool. Come on. Oh, Sky Shop. So, here it is, Playmaker. Click Import and import your assets. In this tutorial, we use uh, uh, Unity GUI elements. And maybe in uh, future tutorials we use NGUI or Dakenforge. Mm. I think maybe both. That's good. It's a good idea. Huh? Yeah, I think so. But in this case we use Unity GUI. At this point I make this tutorial in German. I had no idea what I want to do with Playmaker, but now I think I make a shoot em, shoot em up or uh, what it's named for. So you're on space, you have a spaceship and a side scrolling game, side scrolling game, it's better to explain. So you have a spaceship and uh, shoots asteroids or other spaceships. It's a little game we can make with Playmaker. Very easy, I think. It's a good tutorial. But now we make a GUI element. But I must wait. Compile scripts. Yes, come on. Here it is. No. Here it is. So. Good. I have a layout for my Playmaker. You must click uh, in the toolbar Playmaker and uh, show Playmaker. I attached it to left bottom side. So, right I have the action window. And from the action window, you can create uh, the actions you need, your um, orders you need. So you must click on the main camera and camera. Sorry, click left on the main camera and right click on the playmaker to add the finite state mission. Right click now, add FSM. FSM. Sorry, it was <laughs> German. So we have state one. State 1 is our GUI, our main GUI element. Here you see if you click, uh, no, 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 wait, sorry, I was too fast. Click on events and make a event load scene. So if you click on the state load scene with a right click, you can Add a transition, and uh, the transition is our event we created 
for um, yeah this we created load scene. Come on. So right click on the state load scene and add transition load scene. So I explain it later. So add a new state, right click, add new state and named it load scene and for the load scene state named it GUI or main GUI, main menu or something else like that. So load scene event, right click on the load scene, transition and uh, go to load scene. So the arrow shows from load scene to load scene. If you click play you see the GUI with load scene state is green, that means it is actual in this state. Here you can click on action browser, but I clicked also, uh, but I have the action browser on the right side. You must click, if you use uh, the first time Playmaker, you must click on the action browser and then you have this window. So we know we need a button. Uh, this is a GUI layout, GUI layout button, here's uh, this button and here you see send event. If you click the button, then, then you can send an event, in this uh, case it is load scene. So it fires this event, load scene and goes then to the state load scene. Now we can make, um, add a button image. To show you the text, I use load scene. Come on, load scene. Yes, I have problems with my keyboard. So here, load scene. Here it is. Tooltips, that means uh, if you go over with your mouse over the button, also mouse over, uh, this will appear after some seconds. So, but you can also use a variab variable. Hmm. So we create a string variable. String named hello or hello in English, uh, in German, sorry. <laughs> and the string lädt die Zähne, load the scene in English. So here we click the button and shows this uh, variable and there's Lady Tena under this tooltip. You see it. So that's it. That's it. That's the button. If you click it, it uh, goes to load scene. Also so to the load scene state. But in the load scene state, there's nothing. That is the next thing we want to make. So we need the load level action from Playmaker. So I typed uh, load in the search bar. <coughs> and then I found it here. You can uh, type anything what you think uh, the action is named so I I think the action is named load so I typed load in the search bar and here it is the name of the level to load node must be in the list of the build settings so we must uh, save this actual scene I named it many. Then we make a new scene. Here it is. And we save it. Control S as level. That's a new scene that we want to load. Go back to your many scene and click on the state load scene. So Type in your name of the scene you want to load. If you click this button, uh, there was also this uh, 
error from my keyboard. I have no idea what was this. What this was. Oh, sorry, my English isn't so good. So, load level. Come on, level. Here it is. But this is uh, false. That, that is, isn't right. I must write the level name uh, lowercase because my scene is lowercase. So, again, is this right? And we must do this. We must import our scenes in the build settings. So, that's right. Now, if I click load scene, we are in the new scene. That's pretty simple and easy. So we go to the level scene, save it, yes, and click on or the make, uh, left click on main camera, right click on uh, Playmaker, make a new state, text, show text. So um, now we want a text. That is appear when the level is loaded, so we know this is a new level and not only the uh, many scene with all the GUI elements. So text field was wrong. You must show us the uh, um, text label. Label GUI la layout label is also correct. You can use it also. But in this case, I chose text label. Here you can write in, wrote in, see how this level geladen. You have successfully loaded the level, for example. So this is a new level. In the left corner, see how this new level geladen. You load the level. Uh, or something else. So open up your main menu, click the button load scene, the big, and you have the new level, the harm this new level geladen. So that's it. Nothing else. Nothing more. It's very easy, very simple. In the next tutorial, we want to make the button a little bit smaller, not so big. And uh, so bye. See you later.